strain I seek you fly that close to the ground, buzzing the road. Yeah! Dude! Oh, that was sick. <laughs> you know, any little stick or bush or, you know, rock protruding could have, you know, could have got him. But, you know, he, he knew right where he was going and he'd scouted the line. He'd done it a few times before, so it was all good. On August the 16th, 1960, long before man had set foot on the moon, military pilot Joe Kittinger took a solo journey to the edge of space. Not in a rocket, but in a giant helium balloon. He reached 31 kilometers high into the stratosphere. That's twice the height that I reached. Then Kittinger did something astonishing. He jumped. This is the actual moment. He fell to earth, reaching a speed of almost 1,000 kilometers an hour and yet he could feel absolutely nothing. I had no ripple of the, of the fabric, uh, my pressure suit, and I, I, it was a very weird sensation. I had no, uh, no visual reference on anything, so I thought I was really suspended in space. Only when he re-entered the troposphere, the lower atmosphere, did he experience the deafening but reassuring roar of air rushing past him. Finally, he opened his parachute. His jump remains the longest free fall in history. Just 15 minutes after he jumped, Kittinger was back on the ground.